So Celeb Secrets is hanging out with Adam Rippon today. Um, I'm super excited to talk to you because I feel like I've been following your career with figure skating for a while. Um, I know you were on Dance with Stars and now you were on Stars on Mars. So um, how's everything going for you? Everything's going great. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, you know, I've kind of done a little bit of everything. The Olympics, to the dance floor, to Mars. So I you know, I did, had so much fun shooting Stars on Mars. I think it was just like such a great experience. I met so many great people that I think I'm going to be friends with for a really long time. That's like my greatest takeaway from like the whole experience. Absolutely. And what kind of like intrigued you to be on this show? Because you see the premise, you see like, you know, the trailer and things like that. And you're like, this is so wacky and crazy, but fun at the same time. Well, you know, I obviously there's no season before this. There's this is the first season. So we all had no idea what we were signing up for. And so they send over like a deck of like what the show is, how it was pitched. And when I read the deck, I was like, sounds like I'm going on vacation. So I thought I was going on vacation. And then within three days of shooting and we do the first mission, I'm like, oh, this is actually really hard. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't vacation, but I really, I did enjoy it. And it was just sort of like, you know, rolling with the punches because it, the game changes so many times. There's so many different twists and there's turns and it's chaotic, it's wild, but, um, you know, I, I can always roll with it and, and take it as it goes. And so like, I think that's what helped me like stay to the very end. Yeah. Um, and that's why I, I think I had such a fun time. For sure. And, you know, being an athlete yourself, there are some challenges that had you had to exert physical activity. So were you training maybe behind the scenes? Like, what was that like for you? So I, since the Olympics, um, you know, I retired it to almost six years ago. So, you know, it's not been yesterday. Yeah. And, you know, my relationship with like working out and everything has very much evolved. And I think like after I retired the first year or two, I didn't go to a gym at all. But, you know, like working out, I actually really enjoy it. And it was it's a huge part of me. Mm -hmm. And so like I had, you know, had slowly gotten back and, you know, I'm, I'm you know, there regularly. And it's, you know, it's totally different experience. You know, it's, I do it to stay fit and healthy and you know before it was like I'm doing it to go to the Olympics which is a totally different mindset um so when we got there and we started doing these physical things I was like thank god I've been going to the gym or I would die yeah <laughs> and I'm not ready to die no. on Mars no not at all what was maybe like your favorite challenge or activity that you participated while being on the show I think one of my favorite challenges, oh, this is a tough one because I don't think I enjoyed doing any of them. <laughs> After the first mission, I, I it was so chaotic in the first mission, I really thought they were gonna go, okay, cut, 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 we're gonna start over. And they didn't. And I was like, oh my God, they're all gonna be crazy like this. Yeah. And so like in the next one, I'm like, I have to just go. Like, even if I feel like it's like dangerous or bad, like I can't stop. We were doing something where we needed to like catch water in this tent and this tarp. And I was holding this like head pipe and I was holding it next to Rhonda Rousey. And, and Rhonda's like, Arr! and she's like grunting because it's like heavy. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, okay, if Rhonda's grunting and we're doing the same thing, I know I'm doing something hard. Yeah. So like, that's all I could be concerned with. So, you know, I, I enjoyed in retrospect, all of those missions in the moment, Again, I thought I was going on vacation and yes. I wasn't. <laughs> but what was like the secret to winning all of these challenges and really kind of making it to the end? Because it's funny, I've interviewed some of the other cast members earlier in the season and, I, and I'm like, who do you think would make it to the end? And they're like, Adam, Adam. So it was nice to see like that you made it to the end. That's shocking to me because, you know, I in the course of the whole season, like I'm in the bottom pretty often. Like I think I was in the bottom three times. So the trajectory doesn't look like I'm gonna pull it off. Yeah. But I really think that like in a show like this, yes, there's like a survivor or like um, ninja warrior component to it with like all of these physical things. But there is also this big brother 
social aspect to it. Yeah. And I think that like, as you stay longer and longer, that's the, that's the hardest part about it is like staying sane. Cause like, you'll go crazy there. I think the thing that helped me the most is I was already crazy before I got there. So I wasn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I just wanted to enjoy the whole experience. If I was going to go, I wanted to try to stay for the entire time that I could be there. And so I just kept that mindset the whole time. And, you know, there were moments where it was really challenging, but I made great friends there who like, when I had really tough moments, they, they like stepped up and they were there for me. And it was great. Like I, I made really great friendships while I was there. I was going to say, I know at one point, even in the season, you were thinking about leaving the show. And it's so nice to see that you did stay and you did all these challenges and you built these strong relationships with the other cast members. Now, if you had the opportunity to do it again, would you, <laughs> would you go back and do it? No. <laughs> and I can say that quickly and swiftly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm so happy that I did. Yeah. I'm so happy that I did. Um, but I would never go again. No. <laughs> no. No, I, I would, I, you know, it would, I would be hard pressed to do it uh, again, if only because I would never want to wear that spacesuit again.